Welcome. I am finally getting around to doing the stocking stuffer video. It is late a little bit. Um, I definitely was just kind of taking my sweet time shopping for stocking stuffers this year, but I'm pretty sure I'm fine. I'm not pretty sure. Rainbow, no. I'm done. This is it. Good enough. I'm not going to show you our stockings in this video because I'm not quite finished them. So I'm making new stockings. I grew up with giant oversized stockings. I'm recreating them with crochet. Mine were quilted, but I'm doing crochet ones. So I'm making giant stockings because I put a lot in the stocking stuffer. So if you see any of these stocking stuffers that might seem a little bit large, that's because our stockings are about this big. So they're really beastie. I'm so proud of myself this year. I've come in right on budget at what I wanted to spend on stockings. That never happens. I'm always like, oh, I'm gonna try and only spend this much per stocking and it never happens. But this year it happened. I'm really happy about it. So in this video, I'm going to show you my kids stockings and then I'm gonna film another one right after this. So you'll see me in the same outfit in two videos in a row, sorry. Um, my kids are playing video games to keep them distracted. So if you hear any like excited shrieks in the background, that's why. So today is going to be kids stocking stuffers. Tomorrow it's going to be what's in our stocking for like adult stocking stuffers. Keeping it easy. It's pretty simple this year. No, I didn't want to go. Okay, I don't want to talk too much. I didn't want to go to the dollar store and just spend a bunch of money on like junk that would just get thrown out. So I tried to just buy maybe slightly better things. Um, so let's get started with what is in my kids stockings this year. And let's start with my daughter's stocking stuffers. She is 11 and my son is turning eight in a couple months here this winter. So that's your age ranges, but I don't know. Stocking stuffers are pretty neutral across the board. I don't have any toddlers or anything. So like, obviously that changes things. So if you have like a preteen to teenage girl, um, this might interest you. And if you have a just like elementary school aged boy, then this might be for you as well. Okay, let's start with what is in my daughter's stocking. Our tradition in our family is that there will be a orange in the toe of the stocking. It's always how it is. I also like to add something every year. So they kind of expect a couple things. I add a cup every single year to the stockings. Usually it's a mug. When they were little, it was like a new fun, you know, kid safe cup. Um, but now they're older. I did get the mugs last year. You can go back and check out what I got last year in my playlists on my channel. You just click playlists and you can go look at Vlogmas 2020 and it will be in there. Um, I decided not to go mugs because I'm actually the only one that really uses mugs. The kids don't drink out of mugs as often because they they'll drink hot chocolate or like a cider or have a tea now and then, but I'm the mug lady. So I decided to go with glasses, like drinking glasses this year. It's kind of a side note, but I don't know how it is in your house, but I feel like everybody's like, whose glass is that? You know, you've used 10 glasses for water today. Whose glass is this? Not mine. Whose glass is this? That one's not mine. So I bought them cups where it's like, that is your cup. I know that's your cup. So it's a little bit of a gift to me as well. <laughs> okay, so in my daughter's stocking, I got these Harry Potter cups. Now they are going to be this, have the same cup, but it's still cute it's like their glass so this is my daughter's and it's kind of can you see it in the light how it changes a little bit so i actually what i did was instead of buying single cups which are really hard to find by the way cute single cups you almost have to buy glasses like this in a pack no matter what um so i got a two pack of harry potter glasses from home sense and it's really cute it's nice and big so they can drink lots of stuff out of there. She will love that. She's a big Harry Potter fan, so we all are. So that is one thing I'm putting in her stocking. Next is a can of Pringles. Who didn't grow up with like Pringles in their stocking, right? We never eat these, but it's like a Christmas treat. So a can of Pringles. Another tradition. I try not to do too many candies and chocolates. They just don't need them. None of us do. They don't often get eaten our poor teeth, right? So every year I stick a Terry's chocolate orange in our stockings. Cody's the only one that doesn't like these, so he's the only one that doesn't get one. Um, but that is a tradition as well. They know to expect their chocolate orange in their stocking. 
Um, I got them some. I got her some Christmas Sour Patch Kids. You're going to see like a lot of mirrored items with my son for like candies. I just bought like them the same treats. Um, so yeah, Sour Patch Kids. But then slightly different, a little bit. A pack of gum. This is the Trident Splash Strawberry Kiwi. They love this stuff. We usually keep a pack of that always in our car. So they always ask for car gum. <laughs> so we got them their own. Um, a chocolate puppy. So this is like chocolate Santas and stuff. It's just a dog instead. It's just milk chocolate. And then my daughter doesn't usually like, she's very picky on her chocolate. Um, and her favorite is white chocolate. So I got her a lint white chocolate bar. A little bit of a fancier chocolate bar so that she would enjoy it. And I know she would enjoy it. Um, Something, again, they all know to expect, everybody knows to expect in their stocking is a toothbrush. So these are the bamboo toothbrushes that I've been putting in stockings for a few years now. We've been using these for years. Um, this is actually a two pack. So I never showed you last year, I realized. I'll link these in my, in the description box down below. I don't think Amazon, you're gonna get Amazon at this point anymore, but they come like this. There's two toothbrushes. They're bamboo, they're completely compostable. They're really good. They're labeled A and B as well. So like you can put names in them or on them. Um, and then when they're done, you can pop them completely in the compost. The nice thing about these ones, again, we've been using this specific box of toothbrushes for years. Like I just reorder the same one. Um, and the colors change up once in a while. So she's got those two colors. Some natural toothbrushes like that, you'll notice when it's time to change your brush. I've heard people say that like all the bristles will just fall out when they're brushing their teeth. And I'm here to say that that has never happened to us before. I don't know like how long you would have to keep using the same toothbrush for that to happen or if it's just a brand thing, but like these ones have always been good. Just a heads up, it's a good brand. <laughs> Um, so I think it comes in a pack of like 10 or 12, 10 is a, it's a pack of 10 for like $10, it's super cheap, but they're really cute. They're really good toothbrushes. Okay. Something kind of in the personal product department is I picked her up a new wet brush. This one has watermelons on it. I remember like two, just a couple years ago, it was so hard to find a wet brush anywhere here. Um, and now they have them everywhere and they have cute designs finally. So I got this one because she's due for a new one. The watermelons are kind of like a nod to her and her dad. They compete every year in a watermelon, watermelon eating contest in the summer. So I thought that was kind of funny. Um, so she's going to be happy about that. I try and keep stockings, some treats, some practical items, just like, you know, little nuggets of things. But because she's getting older, her gifts are getting, her stocking stuffers are getting smaller and more expensive, I've noticed. So that's like, ugh. Her bath bomb, this is something I put in, um, we put in their stockings. I say I, but full disclosure, my husband helps me shop for everything. Like we do it together, it's like date nights and we have so much fun. So he is just as much picking out all the stuff as I am. Honestly, he picked out a lot of this stuff. So this is hers. It's a very cute bear. This is the one. Uh, if you go to Lush right now, you can find these. It smells so nice. So got her little bear. I love, okay, there's something, <laughs> sorry if you guys don't like turn me ramble. Some people complain. Some people be like, oh my God, it takes you so long to get to the point of your video. Don't watch me then. <laughs> No, but okay, something that is so exciting for me is when we finally buy the Lush for Christmas. I open my closet and all I smell is just this big wave of Lush. And when we fill the stockings, you can smell it because you can smell the Lush in the stockings. And to me, it's like very specifically, like my brain associates the, the bath bomb that I get every year for my stockings. So I get the same one every year. Um, with Christmas, so it just smells like Christmas to me. And as soon as I bought the lot Lush, like I really start to get into the Christmas spirit. It's the weirdest thing because every time I go into my closet, I just get this big whiff of Lush and I'm like, it's Christmas. <laughs> Is that weird? Yeah, but whatever. Okay, picked her up an Essie nail polish in this kind of aqua color. What is this? Fresh, oh, it's called First Timer. What the hell kind of color name is that? Anyway, it's cute. Um, 
really cute color. She likes aqua. Um, I know it, it's kind of aqua. It was the closest I could find. And this kind of lilac purple one. It's called Playdate. Another Essie one. It's a very sweet color. Um, this is all I use on my own nails. As much as I would love to use some of the natural brands, they just like peel off and it's ends up being worse because they just get into everything. Like I can never, so this is all I personally paint my nails with because I don't really paint my fingernails because I work with my hands too much. Um, I can't risk nail polish falling into one of my products or anything like that. Um, and I also bake and cook and like knead dough with my hands a lot. So it's not something I do. However, if I'm going to and my polish is like fresh, like no long, no older than like two days, it never, this one I've never had a problem with. So if you have like a chipping nail, even though I put stuff on top, like if you have a chipping nail polish issue, this is, I, I really like this one. It was a long winded way of saying I like this brand. Okay, so something else we got her were these Justice earrings. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna come right up here so you can kind of see. And they're like moons and stars. There's a little ear cuff right here. She's so into stars, moons, things like that. I wonder where she gets that from. Anyway, I think these are really cute and they're like a little more grown up. She has, she loves fun earrings. She collects them. Um, so she got her ears pierced for her like ninth birthday and she just loves to connect, collect fun earrings. But now these ones are starting to be a little more mature and cute. They also have a lot of cute options at Hot Topic. And then we got her this Justice necklace pack as well. So we have little stars and then kind of like a little choker with a moon on it. And then this necklace has a moon with like the moon phase cutouts. So again, very like stars and moons. So I think she's gonna love those. It's something she'll really enjoy because I found like a lot of the typical stocking stuff where she's just outgrown. So it's t it was time to find something else for her. And then something else I'm putting in there are these cute pink bench slipper socks. These are super fuzzy inside and I love these. I get them like every year. They're awesome. These are from Costco. They actually, so normally I think they're $19.99. They were on sale for $14 for a pack of four. Um, so what I did was I always get slippers and pajamas. I showed you guys what pajamas we got from Costco. Got our pajamas from Costco this year. And I showed you guys what our pajamas look like in a previous vlog already. But I always pair slippers with everybody's pajamas. It's just we get refresh the slippers, get new slippers or slipper socks. I really like slipper socks. And so I just bought that pack for $14. And because my daughter's only a size off in feet than I am, which is insane now, uh, I split them up. And so I put two packs for our pajamas and then I just put two, the other two in our stockings. And so these are her stocking pair. So just basically a tip to say that if you can find things in packs that you can break up, they can make really affordable stocking stuffers. Um, just a little tidbit. And there's only one other thing in her stocking this year. So like, really, this is really good for me. Usually I go really crazy. Again, I might pick up like a, another treat. I don't know. I'm gonna try not to. I'm really kind of done. I'm over shopping. <laughs> I'm just done. Um, so something else that's a little bit different is last night, actually, when I was shopping, I decided to get her this. I was gonna get her a smaller version of a her own planner so i use a paper planner i'm obsessed with them i use clementine from clementine paper ink um i really love their planners i've been using their planners for years uh they carry them at home since so maybe like winners something like that will have them home goods perhaps but they are my favorite planners and she's getting older and she's using she has like calendars and stuff that she uses, but she's really gotten into the routine on her on her own. Like not to make this super long winded, but basically we got her like a growth mindset journal for the school year, which I need to talk to you guys about because I absolutely love it. And that growth mindset journal is helping teach her to plan and just teach her basic tools to help her successfully, you know, become like an, a successful older person and planning can be really helpful. Um, so she always admires my planners and she borrows my planner every single month to fill out her own calendars and stuff because that way she can put like 
family events and things that are happening. So last night I was looking and I actually had already bought this planner for myself for next year. Uh, they didn't have any hard copy covers when I was looking, which is the one I prefer. And, but last night I found one that I liked more and it was hardcover. Um, and the hardcovers are slightly different, so I prefer them. And I was going to buy her a mini version because they have smaller versions of these. But then I decided, well, hey, why don't I just buy myself the one I actually want and I'll just give her a full size of the one I had already bought. So um, that's what we're doing. I'm putting a planner in her stocking. I think she's really gonna like it. Usually I put a journal or something, but this has, it's quite simple. Um, the spaces are really big, which is nice. It has a calendar in for each month, nice and big. And then there's also a spot to take notes and put phone numbers and things like this and she can put her goals and all sorts of things like i use this same planner it's not the exact same but like it is the same like soft cover one because i couldn't get a hard cover one last year and like i plan my whole life out like this and <laughs> it is so helpful and i think it'll just be helpful for her because she's starting to have more play dates she has you know quite a few friends and this will is something she can just pop in her backpack while she's out and about and you know when we go to homeschool co-op she's going to be able to have more control in that way where she can like you know take out her own schedule and figure out when she can schedule herself you know meeting up with her friends and stuff because we do a lot as a family so it's just it's just like a little another layer of empowerment for her to kind of be able to schedule her own arrangements and yeah, just to have, have a little bit more you know organization self-discipline but also just a little more empowerment in her own routine god that's long i'm gonna have to cut half of that out okay let's move on to my son's talking stuffers sorry guys i'm just like i'm sorry i talk so much i can't help it i just I over explain it that's the way i am and I, I'm sorry for apologizing. It's just some people really get mad at me for it. And I usually have to delete those comments because I don't tolerate crappiness in my space. But I just talk a lot. It's just what I do. Okay, let's move on to my sons. So a little bit different, a little bit weird. Uh, let's jump right in. I'm putting a t-shirt in. Found this Among Us t-shirt at Walmart. And I'm going to roll that up and put that in his because they can just roll up so thin, just like into a little ball. Um, I, if I haven't mentioned that, I'm also a crazy person who wraps every single thing in the stocking. You guys should know this by now. If this is not your first Christmas with me. Uh, he also got a mug, or not a mug, a glass, and it's the same as my daughter's because it came in a two pack. So I just decided to get that because it wound up being cheaper anyway. Um, putting these little Pokemon figures in. It's like battle figures, Pikachu and Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur, I said like Bulbasaur. Um, and then this one as well. I think he'll like these a lot. We got him a new tech deck for his stocking. For like little finger skateboards. Comes with stickers that you can decorate now. He thinks these are super cool. He uses them with like his little toys, but also with his fingers. It's fun. He also got a gum, same flavor, because they both like this one. He also got a toothbrush pack. His are just black and white, they're not colors because he's colorblind, so these are the easiest ones for him to see when all of the toothbrushes are together. It's really important that he doesn't mix up his other his toothbrushes with anybody else's obviously and that happens that can happen with him because he can't see all the colors um we got him a milk chocolate lint bar this kid has no pickiness he loves all candy all chocolate he'll eat it if you stick it in front of him so he will be stoked for that whereas my daughter she'll like savor hers she'll have all that candy for like weeks he will have it for one or two days max and then it's gonna be gone also got a sour patch christmas pack golden retriever chocolate puppy his chocolate orange pretzels no why did i say pretzels pringles <laughs> can of pringles why am i flying through his and talking about her so much i don't know i'm almost done guys i think it's just because like boy, i don't know he's at this age where he's just like into typical stereotypical you know seven eight year old boy stuff and he's just so easy to shop for right now my daughter's in this like in-between age and I just, I don't know. Okay, 
that bum. He got the little, I think it's like a little bot, something, something little bot, or it's just like a little Christmas robot. It smells so nice. Definitely some lavender in that one. So he will have this. And then to kind of match like the other socks, because usually I put socks in there, I just got him these Pokemon socks. So it's a three pack of like ankle socks, but then I didn't know if he would prefer ankle socks or tall socks, so I bought him two pairs or two packs. So then I also got these. And then they have Pokeball ones. So I think he will really, really like these. Um, and that's all that I put in his stocking. So they're pretty similar. So she has like, you know, her like jewelry sets and some nail polishes, you know, and a planner and he's got a t-shirt and some toys and I just kept it simple this year. I didn't want too many junky toys. So that's what I put in there. And I think that's enough. I think it, it is enough. It's absolutely enough. I'm bad with that. Do you see? Even when I'm talking, I'm like, maybe it's no stop. It's plenty enough. <laughs> I'm terrible. Okay, you guys, that's what's in my kids' stockings this year. Like, there's a chance I might add, add like, another suite or something while I'm out shopping. I might do something like that, but, like, nothing significant is going to be added to these. That's just it. I wrap everything in their stockings, and then they put their stockings on the end of their bed at Christmas time, on Christmas Eve, and then they wake up, and that's how they know that Santa's been, is their stocking will be full sitting at the end of the bed and then in the morning when it's time to get up I say when it's time to get up because we have a you're not allowed to wake up earlier than this time time limit um they will bring their stockings into our bed and we will all open stockings together on our bed and it's just like a fun little tradition we have again there will be an orange in the toe of everybody's stocking and I will also show you guys the finished stockings when they're done I'm almost done I've got two and a half done right now Still, I'll probably be done the other one tonight. And then I'll probably, it'll take me like, I don't know, two days to finish the last one. Which is good because it's getting close to Christmas. Um, running out of time. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed what our stocking stuffers are this year. If you have anything in particular you would like to share about your stockings or things that you always put in, like what are your go-to yearly items that are always in your stockings, let me know in the comments down below. I always love to chat with you guys. And until then, we will see you tomorrow. There will be a vlog every single day from now until Christmas because I have to, uh, because I have more things I want to show you than days I have to show you them. Um, so I will also be daily vlogging all the way until the new year and then I'll probably just drop down every other day or every three days. So I'm going to try and keep up with every other day. Um, so don't worry, there's still lots of videos coming. I take a break. I don't post anything on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. I film both those days though and you will get them either Boxing Day or the next day just whenever I have time to edit because it's a lot of footage. So if you're not, you won't see me Christmas Day Eve or Christmas Day, but you will see those days. Does that make sense? Anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you are having a good December. I hope you're all ready for Christmas. And if you're not, like I'm still, I still have like a little bit to do. I feel you. I wish you a strong coffee and non-crowded stores. <laughs> okay, you guys, enough talking. I'm gonna go film this other video, so. See you in my next one. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys.